guys, it's Megan and today I wanted to share some of my current favorites with you guys. Mostly makeup, but I also have a fragrance dupe, which I'm so excited about. Um, some skincare and a book. And I want to start with the fragrance because I'm shook, you guys. I was about to splash out like hundreds of dollars on the Tom Ford Rose Prick fragrance because I got um, two samples from Nordstrom Orders and this is just so stunning. It is like a really really rich rose fragrance more I would say like nighttime or like fall winter but even though it's getting warmer here I just can't stop wearing this. I'm absolutely obsessed. I had it added to my Sephora VIB sale cart but I had something coming in the mail that I knew was like supposed to be a dupe for this and I got it and I I'm amazed. So this is the Ult Fragrances Thorned Rose. So it has a kind of similar color scheme as the Rose Prick. And so this is a like small business that makes like dupes of really luxurious high-end niche fragrances. And they nailed it. I am just so impressed. So I've been wearing this all week and I cannot get enough of it. So I signed up as an affiliate with them because I was just so, so, so impressed. And so I have a 15% off coupon code for you guys, which is Meg's Makeup 8, and that will save you 15% off of your alt fragrances order. And they have so many scents, like pretty much all of the Tom Ford, um, like, luxe fragrances like the upper echelon of Tom Ford. They have Bond Number no. 9, Byredo, Replica fragrances. There's a lot of those. Um, there's just tons and I have so many on my list that I want to get um, and test out and this is just spot on. It has that spicy rose scent just like Rose Prick and then what I really really love about Rose Prick the most is actually the dry down and the Ult Fragrances Thorn Rose nails the dry down as well which I was very skeptical about. I was like yeah it might smell the same like off the top but the dry down is just as creamy and it has some sweetness in the dry down of both the Tom Ford and the Alt. So I'm amazed honestly and I can't wait to try more from this fragrance company and it's just very simplistic packaging which I appreciate. Has a nice sprayer. I didn't even tell you the best part. These are only $39 for this size which is the one fluid ounce and then there is usually a bigger size of the fragrances. You can also get little samples of these for $10 so if you don't want to commit to a bottle you can get a sample of it but I figured it would be really good and I was very pleasantly surprised. So definitely use my coupon code if you want to try out this brand. It is a commission code but I really really appreciate if you guys ever use my commission codes with brands that I truly believe in and I'm just amazed and I just don't have any words because it seriously is the exact same as the Rose Prick. Love this, so impressed, and just had to mention that right off the bat. And also I wanted to mention to you guys that the Sephora VIB sale is starting on Friday, which I cannot believe. So um, if you're Rouge, like myself, um, I got the 20% off in the mail, but you can also use the code OMG Spring starting on Friday for 20% off at Sephora. So all the rest of my favorites that I'm showing you other than the book can be purchased at Sephora. So I definitely wanted to get this video out to you like before the sale, just as like those last minute um, recommendations. And I have another Tom Ford dupe and it's not 100% a dupe, 
but it is pretty much the same. So I have been loving this little um, like lipstick sampler set that I got again from a Nordstrom order and I also had this lipstick in my Sephora cart and this top one is Indian Rose and that's the one I really really wanted. It is so beautiful. It is like the perfect rosy neutral like slightly mauve. It's not just straight up pink. There is a little bit of a cool tone to it. In one of my recent videos my subby Whitney commented and said that she thought that the Tom Ford Indian Rose looked very similar to Nars Rakugian. Whitney I am forever in your debt because these colors, although they might not swatch like exactly the same because the Tom Ford is more of like a rich like pigmented type of lipstick and Nars Rakugian is more like sheer, they look practically identical on my lips and it's no wonder that I love the Tom Ford because Nars Rakugian has been a favorite for many 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 years and I just can't believe it. So thank you so much Whitney and then I found two other lipsticks in my collection that look very similar especially when they're applied. So I figured I would show them to you guys just in case you have one of these in your collection. So um Pat McGrath Realness is very very similar. So this larger swatch is Realness. This one is Tom Ford Indian Rose. So Realness has a bit more brown I would say and Indian Rose has more rose or like pink but they're very very similar. And then MAC Viva Glam 2 is also very similar. So I'm going to put that next to this. So this one is Viva Glam 2. This is Indian Rose. And again there's just a little more pink in the Indian Rose but overall they're very similar and honestly if you just put Nars Rakugian like over um, MAC Viva Glam 2 it's practically the same color um, as Indian Rose. Same with the Realness shade if you put like something a little more pink it just basically mimics it. So thank you so much Whitney. I am just uh like amazed that is the word of this video is just amazed and um, I had to tell you guys that when I compared them side by side and although it doesn't look exactly the same on a swatch when I apply it they are practically identical they don't have the same finish exactly because the Tom Ford is more of like that rich really thick texture which is amazing and very luxurious but that lipstick is like 55 or 56 dollars so I'm glad I could save that and <laughs> rediscover some lipsticks that I already loved in my collection. This mascara has really really impressed me and I got a sample of this Ilia Limitless, Limitless Lash Mascara and I am always very skeptical of clean mascaras because they normally just like transfer all over the place like if they have like natural oils or like those types of things. I just feel like a lot of natural mascaras are more like slippy and slidey. This is amazing. So if you're looking for a clean mascara that doesn't transfer, this is awesome. So the wand is kind of nuts. It is like kind of a dual sided. So it has like a normal side and then this really fine comb side. So if you're not careful you can accidentally kind of like stab your eye <laughs> so definitely be careful but this is the mascara I'm wearing today and I am really really impressed with it. Um, let me zoom you in. Oh yeah look at that. I just think it's gorgeous and I even use it on my lower lashes and they're not um, like transferring it just looks really really good and a lot more voluminous than the other clean mascaras that I've tried like I feel like clean mascara normally is very like natural looking and very like lengthening or separating but not 
volumizing. I feel like this can give you length and separation if you just use that like fine comb side, but you can really build it up, which is what I like about it. And I'm just very impressed with this. And this is the first Ilia product that I've tried, but I am very intrigued by the brand. And if you have any Ilia favorites, let me know. But if you're looking for a clean mascara to try during the VIB sale, this I would highly recommend. For eyeshadow, there has been one true love in my life and today I'm not wearing it because I wanted to do more of a springy eyeshadow with the ColourPop Thumper palette, which I also really like, but the palette that I've been reaching for time after time after time is the Dior Soft Cashmere. And I just love this palette. It's the perfect cool tone neutral glam palette. Like if you like the Natasha Denona glam palette, this is to me like a small version of all the best shades from that palette. And they're very similar in price, honestly, for this palette or the Natasha Denona, they're in the $60 range. So it definitely depends on what you want. Like, do you want tons of options or do you just want like a curated selection? This is beautiful, especially this upper left shade. It is so metallic and gorgeous, but all the colors are really really beautiful and I just can't get enough so this palette is the one I've been reaching for the most out of my Dior's but also just out of all of my palettes you can see how stunning these are oh my gosh yeah this taupe color all over the lid is just a showstopper and every time that I wear this you guys ask me what I'm wearing, I'll get like DMs or you guys will ask in the comments and it's this. <laughs> this is my baby, I love it so much. And the Dior eyeshadow palettes, I just highly recommend if you've wanted to try them, pick one up during the sale and pick a colorway you enjoy. I'm definitely gonna get the denim palette because it just like excites me. I just love that color story and it's just beautiful. But any of the Dior palettes I would recommend because I just have had such good experience with the three that I have and Soft Cashmere is my current favorite, but I also love Tutu and I'm gonna get that for my mom for her birthday. She looked at my palettes and said that she liked that one the best, so I'm gonna get that one for her and I'm so excited for her to have it because she loves like those purpley tones. So that I highly recommend. I should have worn it today, but I was just really vibing with um, this color story for my eyeshadow. But yeah, love, love, love that. My cheat combo today is what I've been doing a lot recently, and I demoed it in one of my recent vlogs, so I'll put that down below. It's using two NARS products, and I just love NARS, you guys. Like, you probably know, but I just love NARS face products. And this is a new product from NARS and it is available at Sephora now. And this is their cream bronzer and it is super dark, like especially when you compare it to my pale ass skin, but it shears out beautifully. And this is the shade Laguna. They also have Casino, which is darker. So there are two options, but this one works beautifully on my skin and I just apply it pretty high up on my cheeks and blend it out. And it just gives like the perfect kind of bronzer, bronzer contour for my skin. And definitely check out my demo in the vlog because you can see like how I actually do it. And then the NARS liquid blush in Orgasm. This is just like an all-time favorite. It's the blush I'm wearing today and I don't have any highlighter on. This is what's giving my cheeks a really beautiful glow and I love that it has a pump even though one small pump will be too much. Like <laughs> It is just such a highly pigmented concentrated formula that a little bit goes a long long way but that's what makes me feel confident that these products would work for a variety of skin tones because they are very buildable and you can sheer it out for pale skin or you can build it up and they just look so natural on the skin. It is just a beautiful combination that I've been loving. So these I highly recommend. And then for skincare, this 
weird ass product I have been loving so much. It's the Kate Somerville Dermal Quench Liquid Lift. So I have the small size, but there is a bigger size. And this is expensive for a serum, but it really, really is amazing. So this is essentially a hyaluronic acid serum. And I use this in the morning most of the time because I feel like it helps so much with de-puffing. And I am thankful I don't have a lot of like wrinkles or anything yet, but my face gets so, so puffy because I have a lot of allergies. So this I use in the morning. It feels amazing and it also I feel like just really depuffs my face so it looks super weird it has like a nozzle but you just shake it up and then when you spray it I'm gonna try to get this so you guys can see it it comes out like this weird bubbly type of consistency and then you just immediately rub it into your skin it feels just like water like it's not like oily it's not silicone -y. it just feels like water and it feels a little bit cooling and it just sinks in pretty much right away but it really really helps to hydrate my skin and depuff at the same time and it has a slight scent. I really, really like the scent, um, but it's not greasy. It's not oily. It's not sticky, which a lot of hyaluronic acids that I've tried are very sticky on the skin. This just gives a beautiful, like, smooth canvas if you were just going to put um, makeup on right on top of it. But I've been going in with my Fenty Skin Hydrovisor as like my moisturizer on top of this. So I use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum first and then I'll go in with my Fenty Hydrovisor which is so nourishing. It is so like luscious on the skin that's the word I always think of is just luscious and it just smooths on beautifully it leaves my skin with a nice glow and it has the SPF 30 so I just love this combination in the morning and it just works for me so my skin has been less dry than it was like in like the past few months because it is now in like the 50s and 60s so very very happy about that and so this is like kind of the perfect amount of moisture for my skin in the morning and it works beautifully under makeup or just if I'm not wearing makeup that day I have the SPF so I love that combo and then at night I just can't get enough of this the pharmacy honey halo moisturizer I can't stop you guys. I am truly addicted to this stuff. This is my second container and I am like scraping the bottom. So this is amazing. It's definitely heavier weight moisturizer. Very, very hydrating. So I use this exclusively at night. Um, but it's again not greasy even though it's very hydrating and moisturizing to my skin so I feel like going into the depths of summer I think this might be too rich for my skin but maybe not since I'm using it at night and I just love this it doesn't clog my pores but it's very very hydrating it smells amazing kind of like honey I don't know how to explain it it just smells amazing um, and I love that the little spatula is magnetic to the lid. This like genius lid spatula situation needs to be on every single product that's in a container because it is just genius. It's so much more hygienic I feel like than trying to dip my finger in there and get some out. Um, I just love it so much all the way around from formula to packaging it is just 10 out of 10. And then my last favorite of recent times is Harry Potter and I'm obsessed with Harry Potter it's no surprise to anyone but it is very surprising when people find out that I never read the books because I am so obsessed with the movies I watch them all the time I have all those Harry Potter Lego um, sets that I just love and I um, listen to the audiobooks and just love them so much but I never read the series 
And so it was on my bucket list this year to read the full Harry Potter series in 2021. And I just recently finished The Sorcerer's Stone. And oh my god, you guys, if you love the movies, you have to read the books. Like even if you're not a big reader, the books just shed so much more light on like everything <laughs> like the characters the situation there's like added like plot points of course and it's just phenomenal it truly is and um i'm reading my mom's copy of the series like she read them all when they first came out we would stand in line at midnight to get the next book like i would go with her but like i didn't read them <laughs> um but um so i'm reading her copy and i know that you can definitely get these like second hand there's just so many people that have read them and want to pass them on so i would really recommend trying to get it second hand since they've been out for like so many years um but I just love it I love that I get to read my mom's copies and it's just so fun and I've been like filling in my sister on all these details because she and I love watching the movies together and I'll be like in the movie or in the book it was actually like this and like just give like fill in those gaps that aren't in the movies so I just love it so much and I started reading the Chamber of Secrets yesterday so I am just going to keep reading them until I get through the full series and I am reading other books while reading these because I still want to read like my fiction books and like my thrillers and stuff like that so I normally don't read multiple books at once but with these it's a special case and um, I'm just loving it so much so if you haven't read it in a while or if you never read it I would highly recommend getting back into them and yeah so that is my last current favorite and yeah so that is everything you guys and the fragrance has dried down it is just beautiful if you like spicy creamy floral scents it is just amazing so definitely check out alt fragrances use my coupon code megs makeup 8 to save 15 percent either on that fragrance or any of their scents and let me know if you do because there's just so many i don't even know where to go next so let me know which ones you pick up or if you've tried alt fragrances in the past let me know what your favorites are i definitely want to try um the dupe for tom ford lost cherry and bitter peach I think those are the next two I really want to try I've been wanting to try Delina by Perfume de Marly and they have like a version of it from Alt Fragrances but it's currently sold out so I'm like stalking the website until they bring it back and that one I definitely want to try so can't wait for that but yeah that is everything you guys I hope you enjoyed hearing my current favorites oh my god I am in such a weird mood today I was like dead to the world yesterday and today I just got like new life like I just feel like amazing so I just wanted to talk to you and I'm going to edit this right away so I can get it up for you before the Sephora sale but yeah that's everything I'm gonna shut up now but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you very very soon bye